الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحب و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ from the usool of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah is that Ahlul Sunnah believes Iman, faith is comprised of three components Al-Iman Bil-Qawl Wa-Qalb Wa-Jawarih that Iman it's comprised of statements of the tongue, like taking the shahada. And it's comprised of actions in the heart, like belief, like believing and having truthfulness and trust in the shahada that you testify to. And likewise, al amal al that, for example, deeds and actions that a person does, this is also a part of Iman. And there are many ahadith and ayat which illustrate this point, this important principle of creed, of Ahlul Sunnah. And from those ahadith, is the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said Sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Man ra'a minkum munkarin fala yughayruhu bi yad fa in lam yastati' fa bi lisanihi fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbihi wa dhalika Muslim. And from those hadith is the hadith of Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Ab, uh, Abu Sa'id Al Khudri radiAllahu Taala an, who said that I heard that the mess I heard the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say, whoever sees an evil, then he should change it with his hand. And if he's unable to do so, he should change it with his tongue, meaning speak out against it. And if he is unable to do so, then he should change it with his heart, meaning hate it in his heart, and that's the weakest of Iman. Ahabatifillah, this hadith illustrates the, those components of Iman. That Iman is not simply something we contain in the heart, as the Murjiya say, and as many of the Fawa'if al Kufriya, the different groups of Kufr and disbelief, say, they say, oh, Iman is in my heart, that's it. <laughs> Naam, that's the asl of Iman. That is the origin and the foundation of Iman is in your heart. But it's also, which is equally a part of Iman, <laughs> is what you do, your actions like your prayer, your hajj, your fasting. All of those are acts of ibadah. And they are a part of iman. Because if you leave off all of your ibadah, and you die upon that just saying you believe in your heart, this will not be sufficient. You will die on disbelief. This is why Ahl Sunnah, in following, in, in adhering, and understanding the nusus, the text, the Quran and the Sunnah, and the aqwal of the a'imma that they have deduced from those texts that iman is comprised of all three of those parts because it's very clear from that hadith and many other ahadith for example the prophet sallallahu said that sadaqa that even an act of sadaqa will be smiling at your brother this is what? This is an action. Letting us know that that's charity. Letting us know that that's ibadah. Letting us know that that's part of Iman. 
Likewise, in many other ahadith, which illustrates for us the importance of action. So we do not take action out from Iman, but rather Iman is comprised of statements of the tongue, of, bearing, of taking the shahada, declaring that you're a Muslim on your tongue, declaring your faith on your tongue, believing it in your heart, and practicing it through good works. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and bless us to be of those who are the people of ikhlas, with sidq, wa iman. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.